hearing a lot from investors these days. Ken Griffin was on our network within the last week or so. I just had a conversation with Rick Reeder of BlackRock. Those who are talking about the possibility of much higher real rates for much longer than people think for the very reasons that you're talking about, the issuance is so massive. And where are the buyers going to come from? And the result of that is going to be higher yeah, real look, yields. I, I don't know about much higher real rates. Uh, I think we're, I think, you know, again, my view is inflation, or kind of the house view is inflation is going to be persistently higher. Well, you are the house. <laughs> I, I guess I control the door on the way in and out, I guess. But, um, you know, our, our view is really that uh, we're in a different world. And, you know, the world sort of changes gradually. Uh, and, and you have a generation of people who are used to rates, you know, four sounding like a high interest rate. And, and it's, you know, on a historical basis, it's an extremely low rate of interest. So I, I would not be shocked to see, you know, 30 year rates well, you know, well into the, you know, through the five barrier. Uh, and you could see ten, the 10 year approach, uh, approach five. Jamie and, Dimon. And that, could, and that can happen in the very short term, like, like literally weeks. We've seen a huge move in the last uh, number of weeks. And I think a lot of that is investors kind of rethinking. You know, the, the, what's interesting about the 30-year Treasury is people reflexively uh, buy it whenever they, you know, because they've made money doing it in advance of a, of a recession. But it's really not an instrument you should use to speculate on the short-term economy. It's a, it's a fixed-price contract with the U.S. government for 30 years and reflects really structural forces. And I think the structural forces have changed. You must be negative to the equity market. 